Good evening, guys. I am Dr. Anjit here. So I thought uh, let's have a uh, slide session that how I am going to view a slide, how we are going to correlate the clinical history and the with the low power, high power, and all the findings required for diagnosis of a slide. Right? This is how my life is day to day. So first one, let's see the slide which came with the clinical history of a twenty-five year old woman. This is an DNC uh, specimen, dilatation and curatat specimen for an abortion, right? So this is what I got in the slide. In this slide, if you look, it's a very low power picture. You can easily see the ones which are point I am pointing out areas of hemorrhage, right? First one is areas of hemorrhage, just normal blood tissue, because when you do a DNC, obviously we're going to have get blood clots, right? And then if I go through the slide, you can see few areas which is densely full of tissue, and few areas where I have multiple dilated things, right? So we are going to zoom it up and see what it, what they are made of. So I'm just zooming it up for you, and this is a single structure. It looks round, but actually it's a cut surface of a round thing, uh, elongated thing. So it's like finger-like projection, which we term it as a villi. So this is a cut surface of a villi, right? And when I look at this, this villi also they are huge. See, this should be the normal structure size of a villi, normal villi, right? These are normal size of a villi. When I look at this villi, which I'm pointing out, they are huge, right? This one, this one, they are huge. So I'm having first finding for me here is a dilated villi, a dilated villi, plus a history of abortion in a young female, right? And the other finding, when I look at this villi, when you look at, I'm just zooming it up more for you. When you look at this, you can see cells surrounding each and every villi, right? The entire villi is surrounded by cells. You can see the blue dots. All blue things are the nucleus. They are surrounded by cells. See, this is a villi again. I'm zooming it up, surrounded by single cells. And these are multinucleated cells, both single ones and multinucleated cells, right? If you remember, you must have heard of two terms in your embryology called a cytotrophoblast and syncytial trophoblast. Syncytia means multinucleated. That's one more MCQ for you. It's one of the physiological giant cell, and these single nucleated cells are cytotrophoblast. So I have a dilated villi with circumferential proliferation of cytotrophoblast and the multinucleated syncytial trophoblast with a history of an abortion. These dilated villi, when I look in the gross, they look like grape-like vesicles. I am sure you must have got the diagnosis by now. It's a classical case of an hydatiform mole, right? So there's one more feature in hydatiform mole. When I look at a no, uh, this is how a normal villi looks. In this normal villi, in center you can see all the tiny vessels, vasculature and mucopolysaccharide, the size of a normal villi. But when I look at a dilated villi, I am going to the area where I saw where we saw dilated villi. When I saw dilated villi. Let's take this villi. This is a dilated villi, right? When I have this dilated villi in the center, I have some empty spaces. See here, there are empty spaces, multiple empty spaces. All the pointers where we're marking. This is called a cistern formation. Cistern formation and dilated villi are diagnostic of hydatiform mole, right? So microscopic features of hydatiform mole. I'll name three things. One is multiple huge dilated villi. The second one, cistern formation, which is empty space in the center of the villi. Third one, a circumferential proliferation of both cytotrophoblast and syncytial trophoblast. If you're a postgraduate, few things may concern you. When I look at this site, you ca you can see lots of ATPI here. When you look here, this cell looks bigger, smaller, smaller, multiple ATPI here, right? You can also see mitotic figures also in a normal hydatiform mole. Don't worry about this. A normal hydatiform mole can have exhibit varied degrees of ATPI and even mitotic figure. Please don't mistake this and jump into a diagnosis of choriocarcinoma. If the history is not suiting for choriocarcinoma, you are not going to go for a choriocarcinoma, right? So mitosis and ATPI is common in a hydatiform mold. So if you are diagnosing as a postgraduate or as a consultant, please don't confuse them with choriocarcinoma, right? So I am just zooming it out. So this is a low power picture. Even a low power can appreciate multiple one, two, three, multiple dilated villi, right? That's it for today. I'll see you soon with one more practical. Application on how I am going to view a slide. Let's see what's there under my microscope. Thank you for your time, and best wishes from Dr. Anjit A.R.